I'll show you how I make them with the merino wool rowings and it's not expensive you can buy I think for six pounds or even less I think the whole pack 50 grams 25 50 I think so I already prepared warm um, it can be hot probably better hot hot water and quite a lot of fire liquid and also I'm going to be using a school PVA glue or craft glue washable PVA glue and that is for the reason because I'm not using the um, olive oil olive oil uh, soap and what it will do make it a bit more sticky so just mix it together PVA glue in the warm water together with the ferro liquid um, you can put in a spray bottle I'm going to take an old towel, it has to be dry towel. The dread length is up to you, but I would recommend if it's MSD size, it should not be longer than this. Probably uh, like a, a palm length, I would say. But you can uh, obviously roll it in the longer length and then cut in half that's another option but because uh, I think it's easier to roll smaller so probably I'm going to somewhere here then I just spread it I don't want too thick but once you start rolling you will understand how much you need I don't want my dress to be too thick, especially for MSD scale. So I'm going to just take the brush and apply it like this, both sides. And start rolling. And you'll see, if you don't use gloves, you'll feel it straight away that um, with your fingers that it's getting quite tight and that's what you need and so I probably need a towel probably change a few towel because it will be easier if the towel is dry so you don't need so much it's as easy as that there is other techniques um, which I'm not going to show because it's take a long time and that's felting needle felt, felting uh, but this is I would say the easiest for the dolls and they stayed quite nice and tight if you haven't got uh, the merino wool rowings uh, you can use them um, yarn chunky yarn so I've got the whole bag of um, leftovers from uh, when I made um, wefts for the wig. You make the wefts from the yarn. So you've got usually left lots of uh, brushed beads which just you know brushed off the um, yarn itself. You can recycle uh, that in terms of either stuff in the toys or make and dreadlocks. So, just quickly for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, so that's the yarn you see. I kind of untied it, and then you obviously put it on a stick. I usually put on a long stick, like in a row, and start brushing with the cat brush. And whatever comes out, that's what's left in this bag. Similar to the Marina have also got old towel. Uh, you need the same, you need hot water, you will need PVA glue, and you will need fair liquid. It's rainbow. You can mix and match them together. In terms of beads, uh, I didn't use beads on, on these uh, dreads. I used the wire and uh, I'll show you how I do it. And 
You, of course you can use beads, but I find the wire looks a bit more realistic. You can buy the ready-made crimps for the threads, but they're a bit too big. And they obviously designed for human uh, sizes, thread, but... Um, so I used the copper wire. You can also use the, the florist wire. Um, I find this the diameter 0 0.6 millimeters works probably the best because it's um, it's strong enough and at the same time it's easy to bend and doesn't require any special uh, tools apart from just uh, um, pliers. So I made this already, so the different creams for the, or beads for the dreads, and basically just rolling out um, the wire. So this wire I used also, it's like um, just wire all the good beads on it. And so I made things with them as well. So what I do, I just take a paint brush, obviously. You measure the dread roughly, the diameter of it, but it has to be quite tight, so sitting quite snug. And I would say that the smaller you do, the better, because you can always kind of push it through. And I just do it wrapping around the paintbrush and then then come back on it so I make it a bit look a bit rougher because if you just have a straight line it doesn't look like a bead so you can build up to what shape you want really when I had enough I just snap here and use the pliers to hide the ends Not to hide them, you can hide them, but flatten them. You can pull a bit together if it's too not as tight and you've got a bead. And it's strong as well.